friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india in this video we are going to see submarine job in a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis by this time all the incisions have been made the capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye and now the antechamber is being filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and the methyl cellulose is also applied with the corneal epithelium it improves visibility and it also protects the corneal endothelium now capsulorexis a uterus forceps is taken the anti-capsule is punctured, a capsular tag is raised and now the capsular tag is guided in such a way that it remains at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus a fairly round adequate sized capsular axis is obtained. This is a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Now hydrodissection. BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim with 27 gauze cannula the nucleus is tapped some more hydro and then the nucleus is mobilized and now the antechamber is filled up again with visco and then the tip of the phaco needle is introduced the phaco needle enters into the AC with its bevel down towards the nuclear mass some superficial cortical lens matter is removed Nucleus is rotated again and now the handpiece is turned, bevel is made up towards the cornea and now watch the submarine chop for this grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. The nucleus is pushed little down. The tip is buried just in front of the main incision into the nuclear substance, goes through the substance as the submarine moves through water, crosses the central part and then the chopper is used to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. 180 degree rotation and the two heminuclei are completely separated. Each heminucleus is divided into two parts in the same way. That means the phaco needle goes through the substance of the nucleus like this and it is chopped. The harder the nucleus, the more peripheral you can go. The softer the nucleus, you remain more central. And now each large fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy and it is removed. In this case, we are from, we are in high vacuum from the very beginning. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute, and ultrasonic energy used is 60 percent. This is the last nuclear bead. At this time, the new, the chopper has been removed for better stability of the interior chamber. And now there are some nuclear bits near the left side port. So I am going to remove these nuclear bits before I start aspirating the cortical matter with bimanual irrigation aspiration. So I ask for Simco and now see how to escort out these nuclear bits. Just go near the nuclear bits, apply very little vacuum, hold the nuclear bits and just escort it out of the anterior chamber. And now bimanual irrigation aspiration is ready. Irrigation is through the left side port aspiration from the left and the sub incisional, sub main incisional cortex is being removed first. And then the cortex from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock is being removed. Bimanual irrigation aspiration is a very good way of cortical cleanup the side ports can be really small but Simco gives more control on aspiration than this instrument. Now this nuclear bead has to be removed. It is engaged at the main incision and it is brought out. Now the aspiration is from the right side port and the cortical matter from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock is removed. In this case, visco has been used 
to fill up the capsular bag and SC for implantation of the intraocular lens. This is 2% HPMC and now a uh, single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. And then Simco has been used for some time for removal of a portion of the visco and then bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used. First the irrigation. The antechamber is irrigated and visco from the antechamber is nicely removed. Irrigation and aspiration is used also together and all the visco is removed. If there is retained visco behind the lens in the capsular bag it can give rise to visco induced raised intraocular pressure and the patient may be very uncomfortable in the night so we must always uh, here in this case the antechamber became very shallow so uh, we have used i have used an air bubble to keep the antechamber formed and close the side ports the side ports are being closed by hydrating corneal stroma on other side of these step wounds. And now, final lavage of the anterior chamber. Simco 23 gauze Simco is taken and the antechamber is lavaged. The capsular bag is also irrigated once and then the antechamber is formed very nicely. It is formed in this way and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Submarine shop is not only for hard cataracts, it can be used for cataracts with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis.